Look at all these buds. And these guys are going to be absolutely covered in blackberries. It is uh, Tuesday, April 9th, and I just had to show you how incredibly beautiful the pansies are. Let's look at those. They are going bonkers over here. I've watered them a few times because they're um, under the overhang, so they don't get a lot of water. They're doing really well, and they're so pretty. And over here, the mint, the mint, um, spinach. The spinach is totally bolting. So, and of course, the hay is growing. I'm getting tired of pulling up hay, so I thought I would just leave it alone. And when I harvest the last stuff, pull it up. It's a yellow jacket. Um, then I will move the hay around and get rid of all the grass. These over here are my beets. And they are starting to go a little bit crazy. These are still a little bit small. The kale. I'm loving how big the kale's getting. It's drowning um, the rest of the radishes, which I probably should go ahead and harvest. And then here's my peas. Look how big they are. Oops, I guess you guys want to see them and not the house, huh? I've been seeing little bugs on the leaves here and there. Yeah, these little guys. Can you see those? Not really. These are bugs. I think they're aphids. I'll just pick them off whenever I see them. What do I do about aphids? I really don't want them on my peas. So here's my peppers and tomatoes. Peppers are going crazy. Look at how big they're getting. I keep every few days pulling little flower buds off of them because I don't want them to start flowering yet. Now, my tomatoes were taller than this, a lot taller. I had to put them down deeper in the soil because three of my five tomatoes broke and died, even when I replanted them. So this one was too big for the solo cup. So this morning I put it down in this bigger pot. Um, so I buried about that much of the stem. Um, it's the, the root system is in the very bottom now instead of in the middle where it was. So I'm pretty happy with these. And they're out here where they're out of the direct sunlight and they're a little bit protected with the overhang. So if it starts raining or getting really windy, they'll be okay. Hopefully they won't break. Look at that. The wind is what's getting them. It's not the weather, not the temperature, it's the wind. So they're up to two hours an hour and a half outside now um, and every day and I'm really hoping that nothing else breaks because it's really sad. I did go ahead and start new tomato seeds. There's two seeds per cup so hopefully they'll start sprouting soon. Hey guys sitting on my back porch um, it's been raining off and on started yesterday morning just nothing and then pouring all of a sudden off and on all day um, pour for a few seconds and then just stop and wasn't able to do a whole lot outside I'm watching a little squirrel out here running around in the yard it's kind of fun um, and I'm seeing a whole bunch of curly dock in my backyard that I didn't know we had um, I'm going to take y'all with me, or try to, without jiggling the camera too much, 
and we're gonna check on the wild blackberries because I want to see if they're growing, uh, blooming, something. And I think I, I think I see some. Look at all these buds. These guys are going to be absolutely covered in blackberries. And let's just try it out my back door. I am so excited. There's tons of them. Look at this. That is a peach tree. A wild peach. So I wanted to share with you guys some stuff that's been happening recently. We had spring break already, but the way it started, um, here's a bunch more. So there's blackberries all over the place here, but um, my, my car died at the middle school. That's how spring break started for us. On Friday, the car died. So I had to get it towed to the shop and um, they put in a new starter for me. So that was not very fun, but it runs now and that's great. Thought I might have to get a new car. And then kids got sick, so we had a very boring spring break. So after all that, um, after all that excitement, uh, my car was in the shop Friday afternoon until Tuesday morning when I finally picked it up. And it's been working great ever since. I do need to take it in and get a new ignition switch. Um, but at least I didn't have to buy a new car. So I'm pretty happy with that. You know, a few weeks ago, the other car does the same thing. But in my driveway, not at the middle school in the turning lane. Oh, well. So late picking up kids from school because, you know, car trouble. I just stepped on something. Um. So it, it all worked out well, but we didn't get to do all the fun stuff we wanted to do because the car and then um, the kids got sick. So everybody's doing better, uh, Joy's on antibiotics, Luke's completely better, and hopefully no one else will get sick. I replaced all the toothbrushes, so. Um, but I think that's about everything for the beginning of April. That. I wanted to share with you guys. I will do a separate video for the spinning workshop because that was fun. And then I have one more thing to share. Um, but I don't want this video to get too long. So I want you guys to enjoy watching them, not get bored. So break them up, do smaller little vlogs. vlogs. But yeah, we're playing catch up today. Um, getting all the previously recorded footage edited it up for you guys. So, April 9th, 2019, the kids are back in school, and um, I'm just enjoying a beautiful morning. It, it's sunny right now. It was overcast, now it's sunny. So I don't know if we're going to get any more rain today or not, but I certainly enjoyed the warm rain from yesterday. Alright, I'll see you guys later.